What's happening, family? It's your boy, Big Dick. Welcome back to my back universe. So, boom, we have an unboxing from Spice Addicts. As you see on the sticker, you have great taste. So, let's jump right on into it. Up top, we have the Seafood Addict. This is spicy, as you can denote by the red chili pepper on the, uh, the container. You can see all the ingredients, pause to read, of course. But I like that it's no MSG. No MSG. The original, nor the spicy has MSG. Dope. Super dope. Now we have the chicken addict. Spicy, of course. Denoted once again with the red chili pepper. And we're gonna put that to work. Oh, we're gonna put that to work. Last but not least, we have our seasoning mixes. These are the spicy versions. Also have the regular versions. Uh, and I haven't used them yet. I haven't used them yet. I'll be using these, these spice addict seasonings like crazy. All right, fam, let's get right into seasoning. So, this does come with a uh, garlic seasoning blended into it. I like to add a little extra. But right now, I'm actually using the, the onion seasoning uh, as far as my base. So, we got the onion seasoning. We got some more onion seasoning. I ran out of that. I know I was pretty low. So, Boom, let's put some more on top. Now, I know you guys are probably looking like, wait a minute, bro, you're not gonna do all the chicken? Give me time. Stay patient. We're gonna make it do what it do. So, now we're on to the garlic. I'm, I'm a big fan of garlic seasoning. Marcus, I already know you're saying something. I already know you're saying something. I don't know you say that. I already know. I already know. All right. Now, the pit of resistance. They cool the cool of Know what I'm saying? That. Chicken addict spicy seasoning. So yeah, we're gonna pour it on our thick. Yeah. Thickety thick. Thickety thick, thicky thick. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're gonna make sure that's that's gonna hold get all of it now. Hold on, hold on one second. Let me get fancy real quick. Let me get fancy. Bam with the gloves. Get fancy, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna make, make sure all the meat is covered. Technically I didn't need to do this. Really? And you're gonna see why in a second. I'm gonna add a little extra, you know, a little special little little razzle dazzle, you know what I'm saying? To give it that extra. But you know, we make sure we get it. we covering every piece. Now it's time for me to get the razzle dazzle. So just be patient. And it'll make sense. For those who barbecue, this probably makes more sense to you. What I'm about to do. That Prince Gruner. So Prince Gruner is German beer. I tried this one time on some uh, some chicken thigh meat, some chicken leg meat. It was like the whole, it's the leg meat and the thigh meat. So I've done it before and I had amazing results. It was just unique flavor using the air fryer. Now I'm pretty sure if I was using a smoker, it'd be a lot better. Now we're going to let this marinate for tres horas. And we're back. So we already got this cooking in the air fryer. Look at that. Look at the color. No flour on them, just the just the marinade. And these are the ingredients to make our cheese sauce because we're making nachos, all right? And so you know I wanted something, you know, a little little nice, some chicken nachos. So that's aged cheddar, double smoked. I'm sorry, that's smoked cheddar, double smoked, and it's frozen. Uh, so it wasn't, it's easy to clean the cheese grater too. The cheese comes out easier. It doesn't just bend on me and become pliable. So the base before I started adding the cheddar was chicken broth, half and half, butter, and um, cream cheese. That was the base. And then we added the double. A, the double smoked cheddar and I also have white cheddar so we had both of those I have a little bit of flour back around just to kind of thicken it up but yeah yeah we, we, we did our thing so we we did the grating I know some people say oh you get it shredded already they got put like little I think like potato starch or something on there so it can, doesn't clump up I didn't want that in my cheese so we did it from a full cheese block, put the cheese blocks back in the freezer. 
That's me putting it at work. Yeah, putting it at work. Stir it. And the heat was medium. It was like medium, medium high. Nothing too crazy. Um, I did bring it up to a boil later on. Because, you know, I'm had some, I gotta have some more of that spicy seasoning. You know, nobody wants some bland cheese sauce, so. I do a little something, something. Check my consistency. And so, um. What I did is I did add some little bit of flour, which helped to get the right consistency, and that's that's the look of it. So now we're gonna cut these vegetables up, cause you know what's nachos without a little bit of color, you know? Sweet peppers, um, but I couldn't, so I was like, you know what these will do? Red bell pepper and uh, orange bell pepper. Cut them up to nice pieces. See that knife put in work. It's how easy it was. Quality knives. Quality knives. Now back to put in work. So I was going to have some company. I thought I was going to have a ton of company over, and um, people changed plans. Some do because they had to. Others, they got sick. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Merck One and his family. They're better now. Now it's uh, sauteed the veggies just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I, I knew I was going to have a whole bunch of people. So I just did just half each bell pepper just to give it some color. And also that that uh, that nice crisp taste that comes with the bell peppers. Because it was fresh. Shout out to Aldi. Now we, know we got cut the chicken. Saying that chicken breast, like I'm telling you guys, try marinating your chicken with beer, right? It's a whole different flavor, and I would try different beers. In fact, I bought some beer from Aldi, it's from Holland, and I'm gonna do that when I cook again. I'm gonna let that marinate, and I'm gonna see if that changes the flavor, what it does to it. So, man, you gotta try it. And if you have a smoker, most definitely try it. Here they are together. You know what I'm saying? Put some heat to both of them because I let it cool down. And now, let's stack it together. Yeah, I, I, I got paper bowls. Bad gum in. Thought I was going to have company, all right? <laughs> and these chips, I got an Aldi. I don't know what brand this is, but they, they look more so. They look like the authentic tortilla chips. You know, when they make tortillas, take them, cut them up, and then they fry them. So that's why I got them. Plus, I wouldn't go wash on dishes. It's fight night. Who wanna watch dishes after a fight? Come on now. Yeah, that's I'm I'm still cooking, so don't mess, don't mind that mess in the kitchen. I'm still cooking. Slash eating. Alright. So here we go. Yeah. Got a chicken with the bell pepper. Marinate for three hours. I made a nice size bowl, for sure, for sure. Now let's get that cheese sauce. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Look at that fatty goodness. So I had to turn the heat back on it. It started to cool down a little bit. I had it on a different eye. And then I wasn't eating properly, so I had to, you know, Warm back up a little bit. I want to cook per se, but you don't want no cold cheese sauce on your your nachos. See that big old clump of cheese that has to melt back down. Yeah, what's that? Dang on refrigerator. There we go. 
yeah, that's appropriate for a fight night. What's going on, family? It's big. So you guys, so let me make these nachos. Uh, make the cheese sauce and everything like that. And of course, to start the show was the spicy chicken seasoning from Spice Addicts. So I know I look dressed down. I know I'm looking kind of bummy off. Actually, can go work on a vehicle right now. But I had to get some grub for me real quick, man. And look, let me just say this. I'm glad I made these nachos for the Earl Spence Jr. fight. Strap season! Great fight. He did his thing. Shout out to the truth. Strap season. It's going to go down. Him versus uh, but him versus Bud Crawford is next, of course. And I look forward to that. Man, but look, these nachos right here. I know they're like all chicken and cheese, but no, no chips. I got some chips on here. Not fine, though. That spicy seasoning. It's the truth, so I'm gonna call these nachos. Truth. I put all the beans below. Thank you for watching this video. Until next time, I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna get the big joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. Fresh bell pepper. Mm. Mm -hmm. Peace. Black down. Get some spice ass season. Yeah. <laughs> Get you some spice ass season. To the catcher family, I'm gonna need some of that beef seasoning. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to give it y'all. For sure. <laughs>